I've got a video tip for you today on how to um, automate your plugins and Pro Tools quickly and easily using keyboard shortcuts that not many people know about. So I'm going to demonstrate this by just uh, automating a simple um, filter sweep with an EQ uh, on this guitar track. So I'm going to play the riff quickly just so you know what we're working with. All right, so it's a four bar uh, section and then it repeats after that. So I wanna have kind of a, a low to high filter sweep effect for that first rep. So how I do that is uh, I'm gonna load up the air kill EQ just because it's got a good, uh, a good preset as a starting point. I like to use uh, the wideband preset here. And I'll show you what that sounds like. As you can see, I can uh, adjust the sweep parameter there to go lower or higher with it. So, all right, so the next step is to uh, actually automate this plugin to turn on and off and then to actually automate the sweeping from low to high. So first let's do the, uh, the on off. So to automate the bypass parameter here, I'm gonna hold down control option command on my keyboard and click on it. And then I can click enable automation. And it's as simple as that. Now I can automate this on and off. And to actually get there, um, you can either click here, um, and you'll see this option is now added. I can view the master bypass. But um, a quicker way to get to it is uh, to actually hold down Control and Command on your keyboard, and then click on the button, and that automatically switches it to that uh, automation view in the edit window. So here I am, I'm on the bypass automation um, track here. So I only want it on for, the, for those four bars, so I'm going to turn the bypass on, and then just automate the bypass to be off just for those four bars. And we'll see how that worked. All right, so now that's set. And the next step is to uh, automate the sweep um, uh, parameter so that it, it goes from low to high uh, to get that kind of filter sweep effect. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, it was Control, Option, Command click on the sweep knob and enable automation and then I'm going to click on uh, or sorry control and command click on that same button again to get to the automation view so I want to start with it a little lower so I'll just turn this down here and then I want to draw it so it uh, gradually sweeps higher towards the end of the section here where it turns off so let's check that out All right, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, really it's uh, it's as simple as that. Um, only takes a couple of clicks uh, with those keyboard shortcuts to get a, a plugin automated really quickly. So you can also um, use this with all the automation modes here. So if I wanted to manually uh, draw that in, I could do that. Simple as that. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. I find that a lot of people don't know about those shortcuts for automating plugins. So um, you got two tips in this video, how to do the filter sweep and how to automate any plugin. So uh, good luck. Try it out in your mixes and uh, keep checking back for more tips. Thanks, guys.